So right. I, I want to see if you could guess or if you knew how did uh, these sports terms get their name. Okay. Okay. So first one I got is a touchdown. Mm. Touchdown. 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 Does that have anything to do with being out of downs? Like there's no more downs to go. Uh, no. Uh, I'm going to say similar to how when a plane lands, it touches down. It's basically the team arriving at their destination. It's a very uh, educated guess. Um, but the term touchdown in American football comes from the sports early days when the rules were similar to rugby and required the ball to be grounded in the end zone for a touchdown to be scored. In 1889, the rules were changed so that the possession of the ball beyond the goal line was enough to score a touchdown, but the term remained. I like mine. Because <laughs> when you touch down, you're at your destination. And that's very your destination true. destination's the end zone, so. Okay. How about the grand slam in baseball? Grand slam. Slam refers to the ball coming off the bat. Okay. And something about a grand gesture of you being able to trot around the bases. <laughs> so um, the origin of the term grand slam originated in the card game bridge, referring to a player winning every trick it carried over into baseball because it refers to a team scoring as many runs as possible in one at bat. So in bridge, you can get all the cards in one go. Right. Grand slam. Hmm. That's funny. My, my initial thought was cards, but I was oh. thinking like Royal flush. Okay. And I, I mean, was like, I don't know how that would equate. So. Okay. How about the term in golf birdie, a birdie. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. <laughs> well, if you're in the bush, you ain't getting a birdie. <laughs> no. Uh, I feel like I read something about this recently. I think I Googled a couple weeks ago, like, why are all the golf terms named after birds? Mm, mm -hmm. And I remembered reading this. Uh, birdie. 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 I don't know. So the term birdie in golf originated in the U.S. in the early 20th century and is believed to have come from the American slang term bird, which in the 19th century meant anything excellent or wonderful. In golf, players would call a good shot a bird and a particularly good shot that resulted in a score of one stroke under par was hence called a birdie. Hmm. And what century did it become the word? So what about an eagle? Uh, I didn't look that one up. <laughs> I guess not not albatross either. Yeah, I didn't look that up. Uh, last so one I got it, for you. Oh, go uh, ahead. Is a bogey a bird? <laughs> no, it's a troll. Ooh, trolls, trolls have bogeys. bogeys. So hold on. I went, I went back. So you know how they call... Planes and jets, bird, birds. No. Are you there? Did I lose it? Yeah. Like that's like, I need a bird. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So in Star Fox for N64, I remember, I think it was Peppy. Like they'd be flying behind you, like shooting down one of the enemy jets and he'd be like, got one bogey. So the bogey's a mm. bird. Maybe a bogey is a bird. Let me find out for you, David. Hmm. I got to fix this Alexa in here. Term bogey in golf comes from the late 19th century British song, The Bogeyman. And the song, The Bogeyman, <laughs> and it, The Bogeyman is a character who lives in the shadows and challenges the listener to catch me if you can. Golfers began to use the term bogeyman to describe the pursuit of the perfect score or bogey score. The term was coined in 1890 during a competition at the Great 
Yarmouth Club when a golfer named C.A. Wellman called another player a regular bogeyman. The term was also used to describe stroke play tournaments, which are now known as handicap or Stableford competitions. Hmm. Might have to uh, play that song during the podcast. Hush, hush, here comes the bogeyman at that time. (laughs) Just while you're reading that whole thing, I just had this like epiphany about how like homosexual golf is. How is it? Because you, you're outside all day with a bunch of dudes sweating, measuring how many strokes it takes to get your balls in the hole you want them to go in. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, you could say that about football. You're out in the sun with a bunch of sweaty dudes tackling and rubbing on each other, trying to get a ball over a thing. Yeah, because it's more violent. You're beating up other dudes. You're not measuring how many strokes it takes to get your ball in a... Some guys are into that beat up thing. Hmm. Okay. (laughs) All right. Last one I got for you is um, a hat trick. Um, This was another one that that I thought I read recently. Also has British origins. Just tell me. Oh, it take me forever. I can't even. I don't even know Aaron Brockovich. So the term hat trick originated in British cricket in 1858 to describe a bowler who took three wickets with three consecutive balls. As a reward for this achievement, the club would give the bowler a new hat, which is how the term got its name. You call them bowlers in cricket? I don't know. I don't play cricket. Interesting. That's not, I I definitely didn't read that unless I read it on like Wikipedia or something. (laughs) And that's my fun little uh, sports term. Yeah, that was good. I like that. There you go. Proud of my, uh, my touchdown thing. I thought I, I thought I had that. Yeah, that was pretty good. Apparently not. 